Well, welcome everybody to week three of our October online program for the Alumni of the Sunshine Coast Health Center. And this month, October, we've been talking about some of the things we've been learning from the alumni who are struggling. And again, lots of the alumni are doing great, but there are some of them that are struggling. And we asked them, like, what, what went on? What was going on for you? And here's another common thing that we always hear is, yeah, I know I, what I should be doing, uh, and really what I should be doing is going to more meetings. Yeah, and I know this, but I'm just not doing it. And this concept of uh, that something's happened to the 12-step program, that this belief that going to more meetings is something is going to solve everything. And I've never really understood this concept of going to meetings, going to meetings, going to meetings. I've never under really understood the concept of 90 meetings in 90 days. I think the logic is that if you're going to meetings that often, then you probably won't have enough time to get drinking, or you certainly don't want to show up drunk to a meeting. But if you think about the 12-step program and what it tells us recovery is going to take, it's hard to understand how going to meetings is going to achieve this. Because the whole key to the 12-step program, if you recall from the workshops at Sunshine Coast, is to actually do the steps. I mean, that, that's what Bill Wilson designed it. Bill Wilson, the driving force behind Alcoholics Anonymous, designed the solution to alcoholism uh, to be uh, the vehicle that you would find this is through actually working through the 12-step programs. But this recent comment of going to meetings seems to be, uh, I mean, I just hear it so often uh, that it seems to be all, uh, uh, the priority. If I go to meetings uh, and don't worry about the 12-step program. So I'll just go to meetings and somehow everything's going to be okay. And what we have uh, generally noticed over uh, uh, just keeping our eyes open is that people, if all they do is go to meetings, uh, they tend to be uh, yeah, get maybe kind of bored because life really uh, won't improve. And the other thing too, by the way, this is an interesting one, a lot of the families actually get kind of angry at the 12-step program because it's almost like their loved one is choosing the 12-step program over them. As though they've sort of switched addiction in a sense that it used to be they lost their loved one to the alcohol or drugs, whatever, and now they've lost them to AA, NA, CA, DA, any of the other ones, right? Yeah, it's an interesting dynamic. But this idea of going to the 12-step program, going to meetings, and therefore somehow something magical will happen, we'll have a spiritual awakening by going to meetings. Or we'll have, uh, as Dr. Silkworth says in the uh, doctor's opinion, we'll have this entire psychic change. This belief that you can achieve that through going to meetings doesn't appear to work out all that good. All right. So that's another one. So it's, it's interesting when we talk to the alumni who tell us that and they, they're struggling, right? Maybe not for the first month or two, things are going good, you know, meet new faces and everything. But after a while, routinely they tell us, actually, you know, it's getting kind of boring. And I really wasn't there, or uh, I was really there only to socialize, something like that. Anyway, stuff to think about. And we'll be back next week uh, with a fourth topic in our October uh, online program.